here at Edgar Street with Josh Gowling. Uh, a second half, well, became a bit of a farce. What did you make of it? <laughs> second half horror show, you mean? <laughs> um, obviously, we're coming at half time, 3 0 up, and that's probably the most comfortable we've been all season. In hindsight, you'd probably take Ryan off, um, but we just wanted to get a grip of the second half and then make those changes. But when he gets sent off after two minutes or whatever it was, I don't even think he was going to book him, to be honest. I think one of the lads went up to him and then he booked him. And then I think once he's done that, he's just lost all control of the game, hasn't he? And he's just dished out yellows like the Smarties. So, um, yeah. yeah. It was 10 yellow cards. You got one. Mark Bauer, your opposite number, he got one. And it, it just it just descended into, you know, just ridiculous. It's a significant milestone in my career to get my first yellow, so I'm very pleased about that. So, <laughs> um, no, he just, yeah, he just didn't get hold of the game, did he? Um, he was giving yellows when there weren't any. I mean, Ben had a foul down there and it wasn't really a yellow, if you're going to be honest. Toby's one way, he's keeping it down, he's giving yellow and you're just like, yeah, gripping the game a little bit. I mean, the, hand, the handball, Lloyd's arm is behind his back and he's hitting on the stomach. And he's giving a handball and he's giving a penalty, which is then 3-2. So, look, you know you're going to make those decisions and, and make those mistakes at times, but it was relentless, wasn't it? And it, and it, it just, to be honest, it probably worked for us because it killed the momentum of the game in spells, but for us to have such a control and the hold of the game, to then come out second half and give a red and then give a penalty in quick succession just kind of killed the game a bit for us. Obviously really positive first half, 3 nil up. Uh, a lot of the crowd and certainly us in the commentary position were thinking go on from here and get a few more goals to improve the goal difference because you never know it's going to get so tight at the end. Yeah, well that was the kind of thinking with keeping Ryan on, um, you know, saying to the lads just going to get the, the, the next goal and, and really kind of put a marker down, um, especially the way we've been of late. You know, we had a, a big team meeting on Thursday um, with the lads and just kind of wanted to get in their heads a little bit and understand why we've probably been a bit basic, I suppose, lately. And, and, I, and I think it's about fear, uh, about fear of failing, about fear of letting people down. And, you know, we, we spoke about where that's got us and it's not really got us anywhere. So we just said to the lads, you know, let's just take that off, take the shackles off. Don't worry about where we are in the league. Don't worry about what's going on. Don't worry about what's at stake. Let's just concentrate on winning the game. And, and the lads went out there today. I thought Jared Hodgkiss was absolutely excellent. Seb was excellent. Um, up and down the energy levels he gave us with 10 men was absolutely outstanding. And, you know, to a man, they, they were absolutely a, a privilege to see today. Three games. <laughs> Spennymore are locked with you in the table. Yeah. Stay outside the playoff positions. Brackley going for the title. Gateshead going for the title. You couldn't have asked for a trickier end. But that, in a way, might give you the impetus to have a go. Today epitomises us. We never do anything easy, do we? So, <laughs> you're becoming Spursy. No, we're not. Never use that word with us ever again. No, we're very much like Liverpool. What are you talking about? No, um, yeah, they're tough games. We know they are. There's, there's no easy games at this level. Obviously, spending more away doesn't come much tougher than that. And obviously, you know, Gates said it will be here looking to try and win the league. So it, it is what it is. We've just got to look at what we've got to do and take each game as it comes. Obviously, we're not going to have Ryan next Saturday now. So, you know, we're going to have to look at tweaking a few things and changing a few things but I, I just you know to give the performance we give against Gloucester and then to come and put that show on at home in front of our fans was a real positive for us today and a real lift for the lads so and to be honest you kind of want to win that way at times because it just gives you that belief and that lift that you know when things go against you when decisions go against you we can dig in as a group you know and use the squad Christian come on and went to back three and that worked really well and Toby went up top and Jan come in midfield, so it just shows the togetherness of the group. And how important was the game management towards the end of the game? What, you mean Reezy squirting bottles at people and people kicking balls everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we did. Um, it's what we need at times. So, um, But hey, that, that, that's football. I think teams have done it a lot to us here, haven't they? They've, they've time wasted and, and done that. I don't think we did it that much, really, but I just, I just think... The stop and start and the ref giving yellow cards kind of, like I said, helped us and he probably managed the game for us in the end because it was so stop start. So they couldn't really get any momentum going, especially to the last stages of the second half. You know, clubs of game management, they've done this time and time again to Hereford. It's, it's almost a learning curve for the club, isn't it? Yeah, and the players, we've got a young group. Um, <laughs> we've been here before where we won nil up and the lads are running to take throw-ins quickly when they should just relax and settle things down. So... I, I, again, I, I look at adversity and I, and I look at it's, it's a learning experience for us and we'll get stronger for that. And the lads will get more experience from it. And, and when we go into games where we need to be a bit more sensible, um, we'll be more sensible. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, thank you. Josh, how do you think today showed sort of both ends of the pitch? Um, obviously, the first half, they go, go forward. The second half, being able to shut up shop and just 
completely see a game out for half an hour when the tide was against you. Yeah, I think um, you know Dre gave us a platform to build off, Andre. Um, I think every ball that went up to him stuck and he, and he brought people into play. So it was easier for us to then get our midfielders latch on and, and join in. And then obviously the second half, you know, we just said to him, run your legs off and then we'll bring Toei on and then obviously bringing Christian in at the back just to steady that down and be solid and organised. So we had a real good blend of attacking prowess and then obviously our defensive side of the game. So that was, that was really pleasing. So it was good to see that we've done, I mean, we haven't worked on necessarily going down to 10 men after, after 45 minutes, but, you know, it was good to see that, you know, using that experience with Vinny coming on as well, just steady the ship a little bit, which was good. And have you noticed marked improvement in Andre since he arrived in that sort of role that you want him to play? Yeah, look, he's always going to be difficult for him because um, he hasn't played a lot of games and obviously coming into a, a team where I've got a clear structure and, and the way we play, um, you know, it's difficult. Obviously, we brought him off the Gloucester game. And then we showed him the reasons why we brought him off. And then obviously he's come in today and, and he's puffed his chest out. He's got on the ball, he's held things up. He's been a, a constant pest. We want our nines to bring other people into play. And he did that really well today. And, and it just gave us a platform to build off and it gave us that belief. And when that number nine plays like that, we know we're going to win games. And I'm guessing the Gloucester pitch doesn't really play to Andre's strengths anyway. What, the 4G? <laughs> hey, it was one of those games, we just, I think it was a flat performance all round, to be honest, the Gloucester game. We've, um, you know, we trained on Thursday and we looked a bit leggy on Thursday in training, so you always worry about coming into the game today thinking how we're going to be. Um, but we didn't do as much as, as normal on Thursday, so we'll dial training back again this week just to give the lads that, that kind of breather. But I think when you're in these positions in this period, I think the draining aspect is the mental side of things. And, and, and I think over the last couple of weeks, the, the lads have probably been a bit mentally drained with the pressure that comes with things. So being able to just say to them, just let go and just, just, just go and play, I think has made a real big difference for them. Because you've been three, three, four, five points outside the playoffs for probably two months now. Yeah, I mean, we had a period when we was in it, didn't we? Then we were a point out of it and then we went on a bit of a bad run. Um, so then you're like, is it slipping? But, you know, what we have is a good group. You know, we've lost three players, obviously, Maz, Janai, Miles, who is Hammy. In, in quick succession, so it does. It is going to take effect on the team, and it probably has done over the last, you know, few weeks. But what I will say about these lads is they learn quickly and they'll adapt, and they have adapted today to get uh, put in a performance like that and, and get three points. And before the Spending War game, you obviously got the cup final here on Tuesday night. What sort of team? Obviously, with the team players tiring as well, do you play on Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, it'll be players that haven't played and then obviously the, the youth team lads, we're not going to change that. I think, um, you know, we want a couple of youth team lads in there, that's for sure, because they've got us to the final in the first place. So they, they, they deserve the opportunity to play. Um, but then all the other lads will um, get a game they haven't played and maybe Ryan McLean might get a game now, seeing as though he can't play on Saturday. <laughs> I guess in the playoffs it's Saturday, is it? Um, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's about the league. Obviously, the county cup and to get to the final has been excellent. I think the youth team have we've lent on the youth team a lot this season with that with, with that competition, and they've got us there. So obviously, we'll have you know a lot of them on the bench and a, a few of them playing, which is, is brilliant. But our bread and butter is the league, and that's what we've got to concentrate on. Yeah.